Hey everyone, I'm here with Ronald at Rock Crawl in the West. How you doing, Ronald? Not bad. It's a beautiful day in Southern California. Are you related to Donald? Oh yeah, it's a distant cousin, but stay away from that guy. Okay. Hi, I'm Emmanuel from NA Performance, and this is a 23 Trail Sport uh, Pilot sway bar that we're going to be installing on John's passport here. <laughs> And so, Manny, what are the advantages to putting this sway bar in? Well, you're going to get more wheel articulation. Obviously, the factory one is a solid piece of uh, sway bar where this one's hollow. Also, a bit lighter than the factory one. Okay. And then, is that going to degrade my on road performance at all? It is a little bit. Okay. But not much to where you'll notice. Okay. I mean, you're on all terrain tires already, so it's not going to be too much of a yeah of an issue is it going to affect my off-road keeping like is articulation going to be that much better to where it's worth it we believe it is um we've tested it already mm -hmm. but i mean if honda designed this this way for the trail sport you know obviously they had that in mind and we're just integrating it into the previous uh chassis cool and you, you said there's something special about the sway bar yeah, it's got some uh, interesting bends that allow it to uh, flex once it's installed okay. uh, without um, flexing too much for for when you're driving on-road. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It does look pretty interesting, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Wait a minute. Is it even? E is it even? It's not. It's not even? Yeah. It's offset. Huh. Okay. Or asymmetrical, whatever you want to call okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Does that mean I'll have asymmetrical steering? No. Okay. <laughs> no, it, that, I believe those awkward bends are for it to articulate as much as possible when it gets to that point of weight. Yeah, wait, look yeah. at this thing. All right. Open the rock, go. I could bring a stock one out here. Look so at that. It's like... Compare it. So this part's like longer. Yeah. If I use my nose to point. This side's shorter. And there's like this little bend right there. Hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right. So that's at 47. 47. And some change. No, it's about 47. Okay. <laughs> I forgot which side I pulled it out from. I don't know if it was from, from the driver's side or the passenger side. Wait, it looks okay. like it'd be easier from the from the driver's side. Okay, let me just Yeah, see if you can just guide it out. Okay. I was right. It does come out easier on the driver's side. See? I got the best. Hey, can I have your uh, Wi-Fi password? Or you can oh, yeah. type it in. Go for it. Well, the new one's a lot easier to put in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is already it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Probably should have recorded that. That's okay. Well, we're test fitting right now, so. Oh, shit. It's recording right now. The whole time. Oh. I never turned it off. So, it's all good. Caught on camera. Let's go take a look at that. That's exact. That's how my Ridgeline ones work. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this one's not bad. Yeah, this is this like is one of my old original ones. It's kind of cracked down the middle. <laughs> yeah, you have much less miles on on your original line though. One of them was like this though. Oh, on, okay. on mine. Yeah. 
I think it's whatever side I kept this connecting was the side that was like in better shape. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Right. Show us. <laughs> I mean, it's not important. It's just funny. That's where the sway bar uh, bushing goes, and you it's look been here. Moving so much that it. I did that. Hmm. So the only reason I, I'm gonna include these spacers is because it's gonna make it a lot easier to install. They don't really need to be there, but it's just for more of ease of installation. Because if you don't have them, uh -huh. it's going to not be fun putting in. Okay. Now, remember, I was able to sneak the stock sway bar out. So we didn't have to drop the subframe. This is assuming they already have a three and a half inch lift. Yeah. You don't have a three and a half inch lift, it won't work. Got it. Gotta have the three and a half inch, or at least the one inch spacer drop. Okay. Otherwise it's, it's not gonna work. Got it. Okay. That sounds to me like an upgrade to the three and a half inch lift kit. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. And the, the rip bushing you had, I swapped it out with one of the ones that wasn't ripped that I had. Oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah, so. I appreciate that. Should be good. Okay. I mean, that was like a, a lot of miles on it. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of corrugated washboard road. You know what? Never mind. It's not going to work. <laughs> it's fucking hitting the arms. I'm going to have to sharpen them. Okay. Barely. Yeah. How much do you think we're going to have to cut it by? Like an inch? I'm gonna cut two inches off of it. Okay. Not these. We'll keep these just in case you ever go with the trail sport struts. Okay. Um, I have some. Bring them out. I have some stock ones. I'll just modify these. That was close, so it looks like it was gonna be clear. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be like right there. That's ideal. Okay. I'm not going to be able to make it over anything. <clears throat> hey, John, did this guy, um, I'm pretty late you right now, but, uh, <laughs> heard so much about you. <laughs> oh, wow. Finally have him. Modified end lights. Solid work. Yeah, solid work. So in the end, we were able to install the 2023 Honda Pilot Trail Sport Sway Bar, which might be the same as the upcoming 2024 Passport and Ridgeline. We'll have to see. This new Sway Bar ends up being a win-win, and that's because I have improved on-road handling the key was having perfect size sway bar end links. And now I'm going to have more off-road articulation. My guess is it will be about an inch per side. So that does it for this episode. I just had to do a really quick edit because you know, this is my weekly video. I'm trying to please the YouTube gods. Here is my sacrifice. I'm gonna leave you with a little meetup I had. We had a uh, we, we organized a Honda Passport meetup event, and uh, we got a really good turnout. We have two Honda Passports. They're both three and a half inch tracks to lifted, and uh, I this is my new friend David. And I was helping him install a uh, a light to his dirt complex trail swing tire carrier. So anyways, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to make a 
another full episode. Uh, the next full episode is going to be a stock Lexus GX versus a modified mid-sized Honda. And I'm excited to edit this video, but it's going to take a good amount of time. And I won't have this time until a little bit later. So, till next time, <laughs> have fun on your adventures. Yo, baby. D Doobie and John Deasy. And someone's walking behind us. It's the wifey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so installation complete on the little rear license plate light. It's a bigger project than I thought. Okay, so I go in there and I look at her and she has blood from like, and this is like a debridement on her shin. There's blood from like the bottom of her heel uh -huh. all the way under her ass. Oh shit. <laughs> And I did it hard. I did it so hard where I just kind of like, you know, long day at work. I just kind of just hit the gas pedal. And there's so much force that it kind of like got stuck. So I had to hammer it out. <laughs> there we go. All right. Looks good. Look at that. As if I know what I'm doing. Yep. I better close mine too. <laughs> Which way you want me to pull it off so you can record it? Uh, probably towards me. 